what is going on guys this is crazy here and today I'm bringing you another C sharp tutorial this one we're going to be this one is going to be a part of a series I'm going to do it which is making board games in C sharp so first game I wanted to do is four in a row and so far what I did is very simple just did the paint so I can grow the grow the board itself as you can see and I made this rectangle board columns which has like for you let me demonstrate so it has like the first one has this it just shows like when we click a column it's just going to help us know which column we clicked so next thing we want to do is add a private int multi-dimensional array two-dimensional array in this case and we'll call it board now on default board is um, uh, it's in interest it's going to put all the values to zero so let's make this board equal to new int and we're going to do it six rows by seven columns and if we run to print the screen the for example this board in place of 0, 0 0.0 to string it will you can see it will print 0 yes so it sets by default to 0 so let's say 0 symbolizes that there is nothing in a specific um, uh, slot like where the you throw the stones on the disk down so now what we want to see is add a new event to the form which is mouse click notice um, uh, I don't mean click I we need mouse click because mouse click gives you the location of the mouse cursor during generating mouse event so what we want to do let's make a method um, uh, in the method we return an int value um, uh, column number and it will get a point of mouse so let's do by um, uh, by default it returns minus one and now we're going to run for int i zero i is smaller than this column board board columns dot length i plus plus and this is going to run all over the array and it is going to check if mouse dot x is bigger or equal to this board columns in the place of i dot x and let's put it in more brackets and mouse dot y is bigger or equal than these board columns in the place of i dot y that's not enough we need to write another if and if mouse point x is smaller or equal to this board in the places the dot which is x plus this board in the this plus width because of course when we run this um, uh, let me just do this so we can run it it's not enough to say if the mouse x and the mouse y is bigger than the rectangle because then if it says here it would be relevant to this one and if we say here it would be very run it will be relevant to all of these so we need to check when the mouse cursor is ends so this is for yes and same with mouse y very similar this not this mouse dot y smaller or equal to this board columns in the place of i dot y plus this board columns in the place of i plus height dot height and this is when we know 
the collision happened. So in this case, we return I. And this is a very useful method. So um, uh, int column index, we're going to call it equal to this column number of E location. So we send in the location of the mouse to this method. And if we'll check it right now, let's um, uh, let's add another line right here. Uh, not very useful in a uh, Windows form, just for the demonstration of debugging. If we put, for example, the mouse here, it should return 2 because this is 0, 1, 2. And let's see what it says. Column yeah, you can see here, it says 2, it's working. Let's try another example, this should return 6. There we go, it says 6, as, ex as we want it to do. And um, uh, let's do another one which is not in the board, it should be minus 1. <laughs> there you go, minus 1. So it is clearly working. Now what we want to do is we want to actually put the players in the so um, uh, we need another variable private let's int turn like whose turn is it is it the red or the blue player well, in this case the board is blue so we'll do yellow the red or the yellow player and um, uh, let's do the first turn is of the player number one and then it will be player number two so what is the lowest value that is not zero? So let's make another method. Private int um, uh, row empty row and it will receive the call. So this is for for example players what why? Um, uh, let's do it for now. So this, for example, if you put a p uh, one here, it sh then it should put one above it. So this is what this method for is for. And of course, we want to return minus one in case um, uh, in case um, uh, it's not valid. It's not valid, then the r the entire column is full with disks. So let's do the checking. So for int i equal 5, which is the max number of the 6 rows of the array, i is bigger and, and equal to 0, and i minus minus. We're going from the, we're going from the highest index, which is the lowest um, uh, place, to the lowest in disks, which is the highest place, and this is more efficient. So, if this board in the place of i psic call equal 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 to zero, return i. That's the simple method. Now, of course, we want to check if if the column index is not minus one, we got a valid um, uh, input of the of the click, um, uh, and then we will calculate the row index, and we will put this row empty row of column index. Now, what we want to do is check if row index is not minus 1, in this case means the entire column is full, so we can't put more disks in it. And in this case what we'll do is here we'll actually write the essential code, so we put this board on the place of color of row index, column index, equal to this turn. And then if this turn is equal to 1, we want to draw a... to fill an ellipse in that place to let the player
player know there's a sh there's a disc over here of this specific player. So let's do graphics g equal to this create graphics and we're going to do g dot fill ellipse and we're going to put brushes red because it's the first player and now we're going to choose the value so we know the j j is so it's like the exact same calculation over here so 32 plus 48 multiplied by column index and it is 32 plus 48 multiplied by row index and it is 32 32 so if I put now the first soldier it should work as you can see um, if I put it here it still works so now everything works we have to do now is else if um, uh, this turn equal equal to so we make the same graphics g equals this create graphics and we do this exact same line but we do it with yellow instead of red so let's check if I put the starting value to 2 it should be yellow instead of red as you can see now yellow is not good you can barely see it let's put um, uh, green let's see how it looks like good green is much better 